In this video, we we'll talk about the apparatus, experimental setup, and procedures in your IA. Apparatus session is quite simple. You just have to include all the items that you need. Uh, but one thing that usually happens is uh, it takes too much space in your report. So if you put down it as one column like this, then you basically waste a lot of space. So I'll recommend you to put it into two or three column like this one or even this one so that uh, you can you can start the next session uh, below here so it will just save you some space the next thing that I will recommend is if you have any instrument for example simply a uh, ruler let's say if you use a ruler uh, try to put the precision as well so let's say uh, the ruler is plus or minus uh, 0.5 mm right is there's no harm to put a bracket and put on the precision of it or maybe an electronic balance and a bracket plus or minus one gram uh, that would be helpful and show to the market that you pay attention to the precision next experimental setup so according to the IBO exam reports either a photo or a sketch will be acceptable they even said they prefer to see sketch more than a photo because a sketch usually is clearer and it is simple enough because you should be doing it with simple lines actually these these will be good and uh, better than this because uh, we are not art lessons so actually we prefer simple lines either way you should include the annotation detail annotation uh, to point out like which part is, is what if you go for the photo approach then you should pay more attention to something like whether your personal identity like your face is disclosed or it could be any mistakes that you accidentally show in a photo depending on your research question maybe some research question uh, you need to align the instrument or do anything like align different apparatus uh, maybe you didn't then that will show a mistake or uh, you may be showing a certain that is uh, not safe enough for example maybe you are doing um, something with high voltage but then you are doing it next to a water tap or a water source so that is a stupid thing for you to do uh, so make sure when you put down that photo make sure or actually when you take the photo make sure there is no such thing no mistake can be observed and the last thing is uh, it will just be helpful for your communication that if you have something that is irrelevant in the background so for example if you don't need a beaker in your experiment so if there's a beaker nearby just put them away and that will just be much much easier for the marker to to see and also understand uh, your context I guess this is why uh, the whole thing um, photo is not that preferred while this sketch was uh, actually accepted in a better way just because the other candidates didn't pay attention to all these things lastly procedures you will want to only put down the key important steps only uh, like I mentioned in the previous video and shown in the exam report as well they don't want to see something like oh plug in the cable right those are not necessary at all right just put down the key important steps next thing is that you want to use a point form with numbering so maybe there are times where you finish a certain step and you go back to change for the next interval then you can refer to or oh, uh, go repeat step say uh, 4 to 8 something like that for the next interval then it will be much much easier to understand and follow uh, next thing is not only about the procedures but also the design of the experiment uh, that is you should include at least seven intervals of independent variable and you should always think about whether you could repeat each independent variable for three times so that you can get uh, to do the error analysis later on and you can also justify the error bar of the group data later on and last but not least um, when you write the pre uh, procedures some people may just ju just put down like a codebook style but actually more, what is something we look for is the precaution 
uh, precaution is talking about how you can make the data more reliable and so that may involve with the detail when you collect the data so it could be uh, the pace when you collect the data so things like uh, depending on your research question so sometimes slowly is better sometimes quickly is better let me give you an example maybe when you're doing a certain um, mechanics research question maybe you are releasing a certain object uh, through a inclined plank or something maybe you when you release it slowly because you want the initial speed to be zero then releasing it slowly will be good in another research question maybe you're doing something to do with uh, thermal right um, maybe something to do with the heat or temperature so you may want to do certain steps more quickly or as quick as possible because uh, by the time maybe when you transfer something to another place then there must be some heat loss right or over the time there must be some heat loss so then doing it more quickly can reduce that so that is some sort of precaution you have to consider when you design your experiment and you should show it in the pre uh, in the procedures as well uh, alignment like I said earlier uh, maybe you need to tell to the marker that uh, what you have done to align a certain thing if it is necessary and helpful and lastly if you have uh, to measure something and sometimes there will be some fluctuation for example very simple thing as in for the electronic balance when you put uh, a certain thing on it the reading may be changing so it could be like one two point three four gram and then that last digit the second decimal place uh, maybe keep changing it changing from say oh, seven to two etc right and in that case you have to think about uh, what you have to do um, in your data collection I've actually made another video uh, which you can refer to it what to do with this fluctuation so you can refer to that if you haven't seen it you can find a link in the upper corner here